Hello there, beautiful. How are you doing today? You are looking stunning as always. Today, this. Every hairstylist's nightmare. We have box dye in my house today, and I'm horrified. Who have I become for this YouTube channel? Who am I becoming? I don't like it. We'll be putting this to the test today. This box dye will be competing with this professional hair color. We're gonna see who ranks supreme. I will be giving this box dye a very fair test and I will not sabotage it on purpose, but I will be looking closely for flaws. Now we all know how I feel about box color. Not good. <sighs> There's been a lot, a lot of hair fail videos that include box dye. And that is one of the reasons why I despise the stuff. But there are a lot of other reasons why I despise it. And we're gonna get into that today. We're gonna talk about the risks that come with using box dye. And also, I'm gonna be using the same exact color in both box dye and professional color it's on two separate heads. Once I have the two heads colored, I'll be rating the final results on five different categories. And I'll be giving each category a one through five rating. And those categories are, category one is price. How cheap or how expensive is it? Category two is usability. How easy is it to mix this color and apply it to the head? Category three is shine and lust. How beautiful and spectacular is this color? Is it shiny or is it dull? Number four is odor and toxicity. Is it bad? Can you do this in your home without actually dying of some kind of chemically induced illness? Because sometimes it's bad, it's really bad. And number five is predictability. Does the color you see on the box or the swatch come out to the color that you want on the actual hair that you're coloring. So those are the five categories that I'll be judging today. And I'm really excited to put both of these colors to the test because listen, there's a possibility that the box color might be great, but I do know that there are only certain times when you could really use box color. And one of them is on virgin hair. If you have virgin hair out there, box color is not the absolute worst idea. However, if you've ever touched your hair with color within the past five, years, please just stay away from the box dye because it is gonna react completely different to colored hair. I've actually never used box color in my entire life. I grew up in a salon. My dad always had a hair color around. I'm very interested in seeing what happens when you use it and how easy it is to use. So first I had to go to a drugstore to buy box color, which I was very nervous about. I was hoping I wasn't gonna see a subscriber of mine and have to explain myself, okay? <laughs> It was very nerve wracking. So I went to my local Dwayne Reed and walked in and saw the box color aisle. The, the aisle. The scary box color aisle that I have never walked in before. That I avoid like the plague. So I was in the aisle and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disoriented. There was a lot of options, a lot of different brands that I didn't know which one to go with. Um, which ones did different things, I don't know. They really all seemed pretty similar. Um, even the pictures on the boxes were very similar. There was nothing really catching my eye. Somebody needs to work on their marketing on those boxes because it's bad. So I wanted to pick a color that was gonna show you guys as much life and vibrancy as possible on the dark hair that I'm gonna be coloring today. So I decided to use a violet red, sort of like a level three, per very plummy, red color. I thought this would be the perfect color to show like intensity and vibrancy and just how much pigment they put in box dye. So then I walked down the street to Ricky's, which is my local professional hair care supplier. Uh, you can also go to Sally's, whatever kind of beauty supply store you have around you. I didn't want to order my own color though for this video because I thought it'd be nicer if I went to a store that was also accessible to you guys. So if you did want to do something like you saw in this video, you could go out and buy the product yourself. And this was a little bit less complicated for me <laughs> As a professional, I sort of knew what was what and I wanted a very, again, vibrant violet red. I also didn't want to overcomplicate the formula, so I picked just one color. That way, again, if you guys want to do it at home, it's not too complicated for you. And also I wanted to compare just one tube of color to one box dye. So I picked 3V, which looks very similar to the box color that I picked out. With that all said, you guys, why don't we Get it started. I'm gonna bring my clients in now and let's apply some color. So today we have Tammy and Rebecca, my lovely clients for today. Are you guys ready for this? Don't worry, I'm gonna still have you guys looking like twins. You both should get the same hair color if I did this right, which is debatable. 
So we're gonna see what happens. You're gonna get the box dye and you're gonna get the professional color. I'm sorry, okay, Rebecca. Was it Rebecca? Is this Tammy? Are you Tammy or Rebecca? You guys look too much alike for me. Great, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so my girls are now ready. We have Rebecca over here with the box dye. I'm sorry, girl. And we have Tammy over here with the professional color. And today I'm using Color Tango by Wella in the color 3V, mixed with the developer that it recommended on the box, which is the Color Tango 20 volume developer. The 20 volume is gonna offer us one to two levels of lift, and then it will deposit the color into the hair follicle. If you guys didn't already know this, the higher you go up with your developer, the more levels of lift you'll get. Today, I'm not gonna be using anything over 20 because her hair is already at a level five five, six, and I'm bringing it down to a three. So I'm not really trying to lift her hair at all, but I do want to get a little bit of lift. That way when the pigment is deposited later, it gives it more vibrancy. So I have my scale here and I'm going to measure this color out. Make sure it's all perfect and calculated precisely to the mixing ratio provided here. It is a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So equal parts developer to equal parts color. And that is 79 grams. We'll go round up to 80. We'll do 80 grams of the color, of the developer, I meant. Perfect. Now, typically on a virgin color application, I would start at the mids and ends and then do the roots after because you get heat from the scalp. But today, it doesn't matter because my client is plastic. Perfect, all right, so let's comb her out and start applying some color. So I finished three quarters of the back of the head so far, and I just ran out of color. I'm definitely gonna take this into account when I talk about pricing. It definitely spikes up the cost when you're using so much color on one head. So hopefully this lasts the rest of the entire head. I'm gonna mix it up and keep applying the color. <coughs> There's definitely some fumes coming from this also. It's giving me like a little bit of a headache. I also don't have very good ventilation in here so I can really smell it, but it's not killing me and it's not burning my eyes. So that's definitely a good sign. So some of the things that I love about professional color is that it's very customizable. So say if you want less lift, you use 20 volume, you use 10 volume. Depending on what you're going for, there's always different ways to mix the formula and you know exactly what you're gonna get typically. I mean, depends on the person's hair, but comparative to box color, which you don't really know exactly what the result's gonna be because you don't know what is actually in the color. I'll get to that a little later once we do the box color, but that is sort of the reason why professionals use professional hair color because it's an art form because it takes a lot of schooling, believe it or not, to get really good at this craft. I'm also gonna say that the consistency of this hair color is very nice. It's very creamy, it's not watery, it doesn't drip on the floor and get really messy, but also distributes the hair very easily. So I really like that about this color. And yeah, I'm just gonna finish this off. I'm going as fast as I possibly can. I mean, not right now when I'm talking, but I am going as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> trying not to get it on her face because this never comes off of these mannequins. <laughs> So I just finished applying the color on this baby right here. Her face has a little bit of color on it. I'm sorry, I was rushing, okay? Just don't call me out for it, okay? So the directions say to leave this color on for 45 minutes, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start coloring Miss Rebecca over here. Look at you, you're looking cute, honey. Cute, you jealous of your sister? Yeah, you jealous? Well, you're about to get this on your head. So <laughs> we're gonna now move on to the dreaded box dye. I am excited actually to use this. Oh, okay. Well, I got two boxes, thank God, because there is literally nothing in this box. I don't understand how this is gonna cover her entire head. You guys, this is the color. So it comes with a little shampoo and a little conditioner. Probably not gonna use it, but... Let's read the directions, because I don't know what this is. Okay, so we have our directions here. <laughs> Step one. Okay, wait, where's the, where's the mixing directions? Okay, here we go. Comes with gloves too, if you're wondering. So it says, okay, unscrew the lid on this one, pour this in here. Okay, this is pretty easy. All right, so we have that in there. Um, and then it says, oh, to put the serum inside. 
I don't understand why this isn't just pre-mixed inside the color already, but we're gonna go with it. Put it in here, I guess. And now it says carefully open the color booster, which is this tiny thing right here. And we're gonna put this in here. Fun, fun, fun! Okay, okay, okay. 25 minutes. Apparently, this only has to be on the hair for 25 minutes. I'm guessing that's because there's such a high level of ammonia that it doesn't need to be on the hair for very long, because 25 minutes is an absurdly short amount of time for hair color to be on a head. But we're gonna see. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to apply it with just this bottle because that's how people at home are doing it. This feels wrong, but let's see what happens, guys. Okay, I don't even know how to start this. I guess just start pouring it out. Whoa, that's some red color. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of fun. I'm gonna show you guys the front. Oh no, this is really weird. Should I like this and like, like shampoo? Oh no, it's gonna get all over the face. Okay, I mean, it's very vibrant. Don't trip, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip. Oh my God, this is difficult. Huh, please don't drip on me. Um, okay, so that definitely smells a lot less. Oh my God, it's getting really dark. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so high by the end of this video. This also seems like a lot more red. So I hope we get a good comparison over here because, oh, I hate this, it's so messy. No, it's all over her face. I want this to be over. <laughs> Having a mood swing. It does look like a really pretty like apple color. <sighs> Please, you guys, do this in a vented area if you're gonna use box color. I'm actually surprised though. I I don't even think I'm like halfway out of this bottle yet and I nearly covered the entire head. It is like easy in a weird way to work with. Okay, so that's the end of the bottle. I'm gonna like try and comb this through. It's like lathering like shampoo. It's kind of funny. But the main reason why I don't like box dye is because you literally have no idea what the formula is. This is probably has a lot, a lot, a lot of ammonia in it, which is not healthy if you're a cuticle. When you come to salon, we're customizing that color to fit your exact needs. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. That's pretty good. I'm gonna try and clean up her face a little bit. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Oh, that was easy. All right, so I have Rebecca and Tammy all finished with professional color and box dye color. They're looking like two very different hair colors, but I can't really see. Honestly, looking very pretty. And in 25 minutes, both of their times will be up and I'll rinse out both of them and blow dry them for you guys. And then we'll do the final comparison to see which one is prettier. So let's wait 25 minutes, rinse it out, blow dry it, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished washing both of them. I already see kind of a massive difference between the two colors. Um, again, this is the professional hair color and this is the box dye. Let's get started blow drying. All right, so I just finished blow drying our professional color girl. She is off camera right now because I will show you the results when I'm all done blow drying my baby over here. And then you guys will see the direct comparison from the box color to the professional hair dye. Let me keep blow drying now <laughs> before I die. Okay, so I just finished blow drying both, and now let's judge them. Let's judge the crap out of them on the criteria I talked about before. First off, we have the box stuff. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready? Okay, so I'm guessing you can't really see much on this camera, but I have close-ups that I'll show you now. Overall, I'm not that impressed. I'm not that unimpressed, but I'm definitely not impressed. I was actually really rooting for the box dye. So let's go down the list of the criteria that I want to inspect. Okay, so first let's talk about price. The price for this box dye is $13. That to me <laughs> is a really good price. But you also have to think about how much time it's gonna take you to apply yourself. Time is money and if you can't do work while you're getting your hair done, like you're really wasting a lot of time. So for that reason, one out of five, I'm gonna give this 
a four, okay? I'm gonna give him a four. It's a, it's a good price. It's a pretty good price. It's pretty low. Okay, next category is usability. Now, I was a bit skeptical about using this bottle in here, but it seemed to have lathered really, really well and kind of was easy to apply, except it did drip all over my floors. My floors are completely stained. So for the reason that it dripped a lot, I'm gonna have to give it a three on this. It was definitely easy to use, but also you created an entirely new mess that took me ages to clean up. Okay, now let's get into the juicy stuff, which is shine and luster. This completely failed. You guys, I'm sorry. There is literally less shine than before I colored it. It was really shiny and now it's looking extra dull. It is not lustful. It's definitely like right in certain lights, but this is definitely not very shiny. It, um, I'm gonna have to give this a, a two if I'm being nice. Um, it definitely changed the color. It just doesn't look like vibrant or like, oh, like it doesn't have that, that thing to it. It's, it's just kind of like dull and boring. Okay, now let's talk about odor and toxicity. The box dye was definitely stronger and, and seemed to be a lot more toxic. It definitely gave me a headache fast. The scent was like, okay, it wasn't like a Atrocious. It was a nice kind of fragrance, but it was strong. And for that, I'm gonna give it a two. And now for the last category, which is predictability, which is, does it look the same as it does, as it's supposed to on the package here? That looks nothing like the hair that I'm looking at. Something ain't right, okay? Predictability, it's gonna get a one from me because that was not predictable as I expected. So the total score for the box dye color is a 12. So now let's move on to the professional color. Let's move that away. I'm gonna grab my other client here. Alrighty, now that is purple. I hope it's showing on camera. This is a lot more purple than the last one. Not perfect. I will tell you guys the things that I don't like about this. I'm not trying to side with the professional color on purpose. I'm genuinely going with what I see and what I feel. So for price, two packs of these and 20 volume developer costed $19. And again, the box die costed $13, which is a $5 price difference, which really is not much. So if you're going based off price to pick a hair color to use, you're crazy because that is not much more expensive than using a box dye from your local drugstore. So for price, for being professional, ah, uh, I'm gonna have to give it a four. It's a really good price for professional hair color. But again, you can't work while getting your hair done because you're not in a salon, so it's kind of dumb. And now for usability, is it user friendly? I'm gonna say, hell yeah, okay? If you know how to measure things on a scale, then you probably know how to use this color. It's not very hard. You mix it together, you weigh it, and you put it on the head. And it's quite creamy, so it doesn't drip all over the place. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this one a four because it didn't drip on my floor and the other one did. Okay, and now for shine and luster. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, this was shiny. Much more shiny than the box color thing. That would have been really awkward for me if it was like, the opposite. It is definitely a lot more shiny and a lot more vibrant by like 10 levels, okay? This actually looks purple to me. It looks much more shiny than what I started with, which is always a good sign because color should actually make the hair look healthier than when you started typically. So for shine and luster, I'm gonna give it a four because it could be a little bit more violet but it looks amazing. Okay, odor and toxicity. This did smell bad too. It, it wasn't very good. It was definitely not one of the more pleasant hair color lines I ever used. It was a little gross. So for that, I'm gonna give this a two and a half because it's only like a little bit better than the last one, but the other one really smelled worse. So two and a half. And lastly, predictability. Did it come out the same as it showed on the box? Well, it didn't show you the box, but it had a swatch, which I'll show you in this video. It said 3V. This is definitely level three, mm, kind of level four-ish, and it's definitely violet, so therefore, I'm gonna have to give this a five out of five, because it is looking very violet and looking level three-ish. So therefore, you get a five. Which brings our final score for the professional hair color to a 19 and a half, which puts it in the lead by seven and a half points, which makes 
Tammy, the winner of this competition. Congratulations, Tammy. You can go brag to your twin sister now about how your hair's prettier. That is it, you guys. Get out of my life. So is this comparison perfect? No, because there's all sorts of color lines you could use and they're all different. Going in as a person who's never used box dye before and like a common person who would go into a store to color their hair, I think that's a pretty fair judgment on box dye. And do I absolutely hate it? No, you guys, I don't absolutely hate it. It's just very uncontrollable and usually used in the wrong way. There's just no way predicting what's in the box Box, what it's made of. It just wouldn't be what I would recommend if you want to get an actual beautiful, professional, rich looking color. So please just stay away from box color. Just go get your hair done. It's not even that much more money. You, you can get a single process color like what I did today for around $40, depending where you live. And up from there, depending on how nice the salon is and how experienced the person is, go get it professionally done. Pampering yourself and feeling good and make yourself more productive for life after that because you're all relaxed and it's it's just, it's just, you know what? It's an investment on yourself and I think it is a very good investment. Maybe you learned a thing or two, hopefully. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. Follow me on all my social medias. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.